I just would like to say that time is really a matter of shop front, the clothing of the people on the street, transportation, those that's three factors. And then you add a soundtrack. <laughs> I don't know the exact reason, but when I was a little boy in the 1950s, when I was seven, eight years old, I seemed to be dressing old-fashioned. I was wearing a waistcoat, and I had a gold pocket watch that my grandmother gave me. And I wore bow ties. At, at that time, I was also uh, wearing a little fedora hat and it had an overcoat. The, the next big influence would be my playing the part of Winthrop in The Music Man. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, not Louisiana, Paris, France, New York, or Rome. But Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, my home sweet home. I was born in Hollywood. My mother and my father wanted to be screenplay writers in Hollywood. So they drove across the United States. I was only in Hollywood for three weeks. And then my mother, she left my father and took me to Passaic, New Jersey, where I was raised by my grandmother. My baby cradle was a drawer um, because my grandmother made do. So that little story there really exemplifies me in that I was born in Hollywood. I should have been this great Hollywood personality. But I was raised in a small town in New Jersey, about 20 minutes outside of New York City. And I think that my life is very much about that dilemma. Um, I don't know, greatness trapped in mediocrity. If I describe David in one sentence, he's a guy that seems to uh, dress up in 1920s, 30s gear, and he lives like that as well, from that area, you know? He seems to be caught in a sort of a time war. Oh, that's exceptionally interesting, isn't it? Yeah. There you are, come over, it looks like a chest of drawers. And do you have the, um, the no. porcelain bowl that no. fits in there? we haven't. No, that's all we have for it, you know? Oh, well, I'll definitely. What is the price of that? That price of that to you is 300 euro. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. I, can I, I buy it on the installment plan? Yeah, that's no problem, yeah. Yeah, how yeah. about 20 a week? Yeah, we go for that if you want. Oh, that's yeah. excellent. Let's shake hands. Yeah, but leave it now. <laughs> no problem, yeah. The 1920s would have been the pinnacle of contemporary civilization. Uh, it would be through the examining of that world that one would clearly see 
that those people were living on a level that was just at the ceiling compared to the way we live at the floor. Well, I always say that I might not control a street of houses. I might not control even one uh, building or one flat. I might not even have control over a room or even a corner of a room. But each person does have control over their clothes. And that's why clothes are so important. Through clothes, the individual makes a statement daily. Dan Dempsey and I'm an antiques dealer in Francis Street with my husband in a small shop. When David came into the shop the very first day we'd never seen him, I'd never seen him before, he walked straight into the shop and picked out a very old Dutch masterpiece, walked straight up to it and knew exactly what it was, cycled off on his bicycle, came back with a catalogue telling us all about the artist, who we had no idea who it was, and he subsequently purchased it. David will be a good customer and a very, very close friend to myself and my wife, Anne Dempsey. And we've known him now since 2006 and has a fantastic gift uh, on antiques and always pays on time if he hasn't got the money and very, very popular on the street with everybody. The reason I came to Dublin, well, to Ireland, I had been invited by a television screenplay writer, Michael O'Donoghue of Saturday Night Live. And when I saw this west of Ireland with these mountains similar to pins, uh, I thought, this is a, a great place to hide that um, this, with all the rain, it seemed perfect a place to just read and have tea during the day and take walks and work on my time experiments. When I first um, walked the streets of Dublin, it came to me that my dream of living in the past, my dream of going back in time, to old New York had actually come true. When people would ask me, how do you like Dublin? And I would say, it's like old New York when the Irish ran the town. I am a butterfly and I cannot sing, but in a moment, the birdies will teach me. Me, 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 me. Me, me, pretty boys, witty boys, two, 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 lazy to fight stagnation, haughty boys, naughty boys, 
All we do is to pursue sensation. Young people are actually imprisoned in a time young people don't understand that the time period they're they're in is will betray them stab them in the back and they'll end up in another time period we dress in very decorative tones faded boys jaded boys womankind's gift to the bulldog nation the whole idea of living in the past has always been considered a bit crazy. In order to distinguish us from less enlightened minds, well, we all wear the green carnation. That's all.